quality of life of the people in China, even much more so than before. China has done a great job at enhance, enhancing the quality of life. There are two things. One is the quality of life, which means how well people live, and the other one is the standard of living. And the standard of living refers to how well one individual lives. And we know that we have uh, in the United States millionaires and trillionaires, Jeff Bezos, who I don't like because of <laughs> obvious reasons. Uh, and those guys are living very, very well. But the, the mass of the population in the United States today is suffering greatly. China has risen dramatically, and that's a very good thing. But you've seen that, that video. Now, in all honesty, how many of you would have imagined that something like this exists today in the United States? It's not difficult no. to imagine. We knew that Detroit has been uh, bankrupted for several, several years ago. But even so, I think the images are it's quite a, a, a little bit out of it. heartbreaking. Yes, yes, quite. Quite heartbreaking. And, and we need to be aware. You see, the, the, there is something that, that's called the chaos theory, which says that one butterfly flaps its wings at one corner of the earth, and it creates a major storm at the other uh, end of the earth. Everything is so interconnected. Today, the world has become like a fabric. Imagine a, a tablecloth, just a piece of fabric, and if you do this with it, it's just going to percolate throughout the entire fabric. And this is what's happening today. Whatever happens in China impacts the United States. Whatever happens in the United States impacts India and, and so on and so forth. The whole world has become so integrated that today it's, it's impossible for one economy to actually do something without the help of the other economy. Uh, it, is, uh, it is truly unbelievable to see how you know, the, the price of oil impacts everyone because everybody needs oil. How uh, economic development in one country impacts another country. So uh, I think it's important to, to understand how everything fits within the global context. It is a bit of a puzzle. So there are pieces of the puzzle, and uh, they all have to fit uh, with each other. So let's go to, the, can, let's go to the, the PowerPoint presentation, if you don't mind. Very good. So, We'll talk about um, uh, China economic perspectives in a, in a changing world. As I said, we're shifting away from this, what it used to be called a unilateral world, world of power, right? Where the United States had dominated the, the world, um, both economically and politically. Uh, and now we are shifting into, so where we were, I kind of gave you the, um, a bit of a background. The United States has been the de facto uh, major partner of China, but the United States is slowly, slowly moving away because of where we are right now. We're in a, in a situation where uh, China and the United States are slowly, slowly breaking the ties. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly breaking the ties. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what is the future and how is the future going to look like. I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to tell you one of the key, one of the key aspects that's happening in the world economy right now. It's a, it's a trend that's called the de-dollarization. The dollar has been the de facto currency of the world for the last, ever since the Second World War. Every economy needed dollars in order to survive. What happened at the, at the conclusion of the Second World War, the United States has actually signed an agreement with the currently OPEC countries. OPEC is the Organization for Petroleum, Petroleum Exporters countries. And they signed a contract so that none of those countries would sell oil in any other currency but US dollars. And as every economy requires oil in order to grow, because there is no such thing as an economy without oil, transportation and manufacturing and so on and so forth, everybody needed oil. So now in order to get oil, what do you need? You need US dollars. In, in order to get US dollars, what can you do is you can actually sell your products very, very inexpensive to the United States. So you get dollars, so you can buy oil, so you can grow your economy even further. So there is, there are a, there is a tremendous amount of dollars.